Hello, and welcome again. I'm going to apologize if the sound quality is not that good since I'm shooting outside. Uh, for people that have actually looked in my comments, you'll know why I'm shooting outside. Uh, but there's a major highway about a block to the uh, north of and then a, the street that I live on. So there may be some road traffic noise. Uh, what I have today for y'all to look at is this here. I'm going to move these blocks out of the way. I have this extremely nice, and I guess you would consider it a southern mountain rifle. I'm not really sure because it actually has a lot of the features of a Lancaster style rifle. But there again, I'm not a, I, I don't know a lot about the Southern Mountain Rifle style, so I'm not going to say I'm an expert on that. But anyway, this is a Roy Stroh uh, 32 caliber. Uh, go ahead and tip it up here. And it's extremely long barrel. This gun has a 48 inch barrel, so it's kind of, it's actually fairly muzzle heavy considering the barrels although the barrels not that big with such a small bore and the 48 inch length makes it extremely muzzle heavy especially as thin and delicate looking as the stock is back here it's got a flat just a flat uh, butt plate nicely done in iron all the furniture is in iron uh, it does have a let's stick it like this so I can get it up here close to where I can show it to you. It does have a poured pewter nose cap. So they actually he actually carved out the wood so the pewter would lay in between it. Extremely well done, nicely done. I really like that. Uh, it has a really fine front sight. I have not shot this rifle yet. But when I picked it up from the young man I bought it from, he bought it from another friend of mine and another friend that is also friends with the other friend said he actually, while it was in his possession, he shot this rifle. He said it's extremely accurate. He said, it's a good shooting rifle. He said, you'll be, he said, when you, cause it was the day I picked it up. And he's like, when you take it out and shoot it, he said, you'll really like this. But it's got a, I'm gonna stand it up this way. It's got just a nice little English lock on it. So it looks kind of like a small siler, but I'm not positive on that. And you can just see, it's just got an iron trigger guard, a nice little iron trigger. It's just a single trigger where a lot of my rifles I have double set triggers and I like that for accuracy. This one does not. And it only has one lock screw as you can see here in a teardrop shaped iron side plate, which that tends to me with a single screw, I usually think of that as being a slightly later 1790s, early 1800s design. But it's an extremely well-built rifle and I don't know if the, let me hold it back up here this way I don't know if the uh, figure of the wood will show up well because it has such a dark stain to it. And like I said, it's an extremely nice little rifle. I bought it thinking I would give it to my grandson, but with it being as muzzle heavy as it is, I don't think he'll like it. Uh, he tends to like smaller, lighter guns. He's got a 36 caliber with a 36 inch barrel and he doesn't even shoot it. So we'll see. And like I said, once I take it out and shoot it, if I really like it, it'll probably, well, let's put it this way. It's going to stay in my collection because I rarely, if ever, sell any of the guns that I buy. I very, very seldom will I pass on. If I get a gun, it usually stays in my collection. So I hope you appreciated it, and thank you for watching.